How is this possible? Where is he? Oh, Jesus. Where is he? Okay, I'm so out there. They will be providing beds if it's too boring. Um, my mic, okay. My name is Alexander von Pellet. Oh, there it is, and uh, somewhere. You can find it on the web page. And of course, uh, we're going to talk about new features today, so at least says the program schedule. And I'm, I'm going to get an F right away for missing the subject. Um, but um, a lot of people wanted to have some hands on, and so we're going to do hands on stuff today. Um, and you saw maybe the screen where it said the 50 steps to skio. Um, I developed this out of necessity. This is a way to get into the software very quickly, very fast, very efficient. Alex, sorry. Did you change the password in here for... Oh, yeah. I tricked you. Yeah. I tricked him just a moment. Okay, the only computer where I changed the password. <laughs> um, so I did this out of necessity because we had a lot of new people. Who is new to the skill here? One year or less, show you. Well, it's quite a few, very cool. So you're gonna learn something good here. And for the people that have skills since, uh, like this, okay, I try to prevent the popping. But, uh, okay. So, um, for the ones that have the skill longer, they probably will also benefit. The goal here is that you're going to be treating after eight minutes. It's happening too often that people are dabbling around, searching things and so forth, and time is ticking away. Time is ticking away. So, I want to show you a way where after eight minutes, everything's up and running and you're treating. Then you start searching what's going on. So quite, quite different. And most of the steps you will know, they're just a different arrangement and a couple important things. And then we did something really crazy. We invited Chandro, and he uh, is helping us today. And um, I'm doing this so you see a real case. We don't get somebody out of the audience that has a little bit knee pain or something. We have a real case here, and this is reality. Um, this is what we have to try to show results, and we have to try it fast. And this is what we're going to do today. So if somebody wants to take notes, that's fine. If somebody wants to use their, their skill and practice, it's also fine. There will be always times where we can catch up, so don't worry if you fall a little bit behind. And uh, while I'm speaking, it's not wasted time either. Bala, my crazy friend. Hello. Um, is helping me today. So uh, he's gonna enter all the data, so we're not gonna be bored. And um, so here the diagnosis is multiple sclerosis. Uh, did anybody have a case like that? How did it go? So, um, but uh, did, did anybody have uh, stunning results with uh, MS? Yes, okay. People could walk again and everything. Very good. So, um, the reason why I picked this, I just, uh, two weeks ago, was at a professor in Vienna, and he's a specialist for multiple sclerosis and ALS. And of course, they're close with the diagnosis, but uh, um, different. And the idea, of course, with the one idea, I want to say, with the multiple sclerosis is that the um, 
myelin sheet of the nerves is damaged. And this is what we're going to work on today. I want to show an easy way to test it, to work on it, and to see is that the problem or is that not the problem. I also want to say that, uh, especially with that disease, a lot of times there's a karmic component. And um, it is in this case too. And we have tried, before we started here, to uh, resolve the issue. And if you have further questions to that, we can talk afterwards, but it would kind of kill the time frame to, um, to get through the program here today. At the end, of course, we're gonna go also to the new features, and I'm gonna show, um, gonna show a couple of things we did and uh, what we could do. There's some really cool things in there in the 216 software. And um, so, uh, Balad, uh, just how far are you? What do you think? He's not listening to me. Hello, McFly. Anybody home? <laughs> okay. I'm waiting for feedback. Okay. Oh, by the way, SOC. I hope everybody does SOC. It's really crucial. It's really important. It does influence uh, certain data in the computer. So don't be sloppy, please use SOC. And the second thing, please also use the harness, especially in a case like this. Use the harness because studies have shown that it's up to 400 times stronger in certain applications than without the harness. And I'm not saying that subspace doesn't work. As a matter of fact, it does work. And we got a glimpse today. Um, about the entanglement. Everybody's speaking right now about entanglement. It's like the hottest subject uh, in, uh, with the physicists. And uh, uh, it, it, we have now scientific manifestation that it works. I mean, they have done now in the lab, they built some tests and they've proven that as a matter of fact, subspace or entanglement of particles transmit information faster than light. They tried it with a laser, yes. and uh, the spin of the correlating entangled um, particles of the electrons changed before the laser light could arrive with the information. So. <clears throat> Five years ago, they would put us in the white jacket, uh, jacket and lock us up if we really would have said that is manifest. But today, subspace is manifest in modern physics. And uh, another thing I wanted to tell you, when we start with the software, I went already in, but we're gonna go back. You get this first window where it finds the box, it shows the serial number, and um, you see the colors of the ribbons, right? You know what I'm talking about? You go in the software, 25%, it stops, and you have to hit close to continue. I want you to make sure that you know this is the time when you put on the harness and not before. And I'll tell you why. These uh, ribbons here, they work like a videotape, like an audio tape, an audio cassette. They can hold information. And if you clean them, you do a real good job. You still haven't wiped out the information that's on these ribbons. So you have to and uh, I don't want to disturb the process now, but you know the window, you have to hook up the ribbons to the device, start the software, wait for this box to appear, and in case of Eductor, the, you will hear a little click. Has everybody heard that click? If it's really silent, you hear the click. With the skier, we'll see two yellow lights come on, and briefly, I think the red come on or not. This is an, uh, a pulse that erases 
the ribbons. And I want to say 90% of the users put on the harness, then start the software. But think about it. Why doesn't it show on the first picture those colors? It shows them when this box appears, which also, if you have Alzheimer's or something, you don't need to look in the book which uh, colors you have to use. Yeah? But anyhow, you understand you have to you have to um, hook up the cables to the box, wait till 25%, then the ribbon's going to be erased. Yes, I think uh, white noise coming in. It's just, uh, if you ever had a video recorder out of the 80s, if you're old enough, and you erased something, at the end of the tape, you could still see after the snow, the old stuff was still on there. The old show was still on there. So, um, first of all, people have at times complained that they get similar results from one to the next patient. Guess why? And the second thing is, um, do you really want somebody very, very sick and, and his or her information getting on the next patient or onto yourself. So please take this serious. It's just a little um, rethinking of things. And it's important. Start the computer, hook up the box, hook up the cables, hook up the cables. If you don't hook them up, they will not be erased. They have to be on the box. And then you start the software. And at 25%, when you heard the click, when the skier put on the two little yellow lights, after that, you can safely put the ribbons on. I'm not uh, sure that there really something bad could have happened in the past, but I think it could have affected your test. Yes? If you work in subspace, do you do the same thing? Uh, if I work in subspace, I don't use the cables at all. So, I don't need to do it. And I tell you what, my daughter lives in Florida. She's now, ooh, just turned 28. But for the last six, seven years, she loves me. She's a beautiful girl. She calls me when she needs money or when she, when she is sick. <laughs> so, now with the subspace, cable would have been uh, quite expensive to run over there. So. And it works. And she grew up with that. She knows it for her. It's normal. You know, she calls me. And um, one day she had bad tonsillitis. And I said, yeah, go to bed. And no, she went to the party afterwards because I fixed the tonsillitis. And of course, I didn't hear for three days from her. And I thought, oh, my gosh, she died. No. <laughs> she said, oh, no, 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 it was fine, fine. I went to the party, everything. Said, OK. Kids, OK? But she is a very lovely girl. Okay, stop here. Please stop here. Here's huge controversy. We have, we have um, switched this that you, as soon as you come from the, as soon as you come uh, out of the calibration, uh, you pass, bypass the brain waves. We go. Okay, but anyhow. Um, please load the info report the first thing you do when you come in here. The info report is the blue field and the information, the initial information comes from where? From the calibration. So also here is a tendency, possibility that still old data is being carried over, plus um, would you share your experience with the test? When I started to do the test after Alex told me to load that report before running the test, I found that the number of reds that I get after the test are a lot less, and the accuracy of the testing is much better. And I've been doing it now for about almost a year now, and it's always spot on, because sometimes you get after you do the, if you close here, and then go to the test, somehow the other too many reds are coming up. So it's very hard to decipher which red we have to work with. So after Alex told me when we started to do this one first and then go to prepare test, 
the, con the number of reds are lesser, and in, I found that the tests are also much more accurate. It's not being carried over anymore. And, and uh, so, you know, we, you know, I just don't sit back in my office and, and play with the device. We have hundreds of users that have tried this and used. It's tried and proven over years, what I'm uh, showing you now. So I click it? So, um, what was that? Riot? Anybody? You can't hear me? Okay. What I was doing is uh, be referring to the please load new info report. When you come from the calibration and you click test, then most people close here and then they do their thing and later on they load the info report. Load it right here and you avoid a lot of problems. That's what I'm telling you. No carrying over of information from the last patient and um, more precise test. We have um, cut out a lot of overhead out of the protocol and um, made it faster, okay? So there's really the bare bones. And you know what we found out? When we do the bare bones, the test gets much more accurate because we add lot less noise, we do less things. I will explain. Okay, any other questions? Uh, moving on. Yes? You should clean the attachment every time. You should clean it physically with um, wasserstoff peroxide. What is it called? Peroxide, 3%. Th uh, uh, diluted peroxide, 3%. You can buy it in the pharmacy, no problem. Uh, and then also with water, and I use natural soap. Um, and I really do it after the session because then I know every time the next session comes, my ribbons are clean, and you know how it is. Somebody comes Friday night and needs desperately a treatment. Um, peroxide. Peroxide. I have to translate, sorry. <laughs> okay, you're running tests, right? Okay, so um, in the system settings, everybody knows where the system settings are. Anybody not? System settings. Uh, in the system settings, I recommend you do four things. So the first thing is you activate the quantic indeterminance field. Um, there is some people that say the power settings above in the system settings, does everybody know? Or shall we wait? I guess we wait. What do we have, two minutes and nine seconds? Okay, can you go to the disease dictionary? Because we forgot that, wait, can't do it right now, now, now you can do it, okay. All right, one, one huge difference that we do is we load the disease dictionary. And actually we load it before we start the test, okay? And this has been really cool. So now we have it down there in the bar. If you go down, yeah, click on it, to the right, to the right, yeah, and click through. Everybody uses the disease dictionary? Who hates it? You hate it, right? It's bullshit, nonsense. Or is it really, really a cool program? It's a very cool program. It's your bread for chronic stuff, okay? You need to know how to use the disease dictionary. So, um, multiple sclerosis, please. I'm sorry? I set it all up. And while I'm doing that, I'm not staring here. I'm not interpreting. Uh, my thing is dying. <laughs> um, I'm not interpreting any bar hop values. I'm not manifesting. When I interpret, I manifest. Do you know that? So I'm doing something else, I'm busy. Uh, if you switch off the music, I always recommend that because that will jolt your patient out of the seat. If you click on it, yep. So we always use electroacupuncture, you know that, right? We have the most functionality in this panel, the most functionality. So um, 
Now, quick calibrate the patient. And now I see already the, the people going haywire. We have this thousands of times tested, okay? I'm not presenting you something that just doesn't work. It works marvelous, as a matter of fact. And when I went to this, doctor, uh, this professor in Austria, he gave me two hours, two hours to present the device. You know, when I left, two and a half days later, he did not let me go. And guess what? This professor specialized in multiple sclerosis and ALS. And he has done groundbreaking research what could be the cause, or one of the causes of this disease. We always do the quick test patient bioresonance. Okay. And then we always, always please grab it on the bot, uh, top bar. You have to pull it over to the right. I oh, can't do it right now, have to wait. Should be the first step, actually. If you don't pull this window to the right, and you click somewhere else, then the other window disappears, and when you click on OK to reveal text, the other window is hidden behind, and you think the program has locked up. By the way, this program never locks up. It is 100% user fault, user mistake. So before we do something else now, look at the time of therapy there. Do you know what the max time in this program is? Who knows? What's the maximum time in here? 45, thank you. But that was only one person that knew that. Okay, two persons. No, what? What's that? It's possible to take long term therapy. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna show you. Hold your feet. We're gonna do it in ten seconds. <laughs> it's a good question. It's a very good question. Long term. Okay. So, are you so far with me? Everybody understands what we're doing. We haven't, we haven't disturbed the test. We haven't done anything. Guess what? The test is ready behind there, waiting for us. So now we see 35 minutes. What do you think the 35 minutes indicate? It's pretty significant. It's significant. If I get two minutes there, I'm like, mm. But I'm not gonna use this time, and this is very important. I'm not gonna use this time. I just look at it. It gives me a first indication, do I have do I have a good disease that I selected there, and, and meaning good, is this a hit? Is this the right thing? Okay? We delete it. We set it to one minute, always. No, hang on, hang on. We're, we're, we, I do all the questions afterwards, you will see. And now here comes the question that you had. Now we click on long term. Long term, yeah. And now we click on auto treat. Okay, and now we're out of here. We're done. We're out of here. Let's go to test, please. Oh, yes. Yeah, I, I, I start the program so I have access. And then I just do note, I'm not starting really until the test is done. I don't want to disturb the test. Okay, um, let's go back to password real quick. I um, want to show you something you might or might not know. Yes. Question. In the uh, dictionary disease, when can we put uh, polarity positive? When? When? I will have to ask Desi that because I never used it. I'm honest. <laughs> but I find out. I will find out. Okay. Uh, just a little input here. When we used, loaded the report first, then we did the test. 
After the test, if you notice, there is no remove button showing here anymore. So you have to go to information. Please remember that. Info view, the button appears. There. Yes, yes, yes. We did this, we, we did this quite chaotic right now. So let's, uh, let's do the power settings real quick. Okay. Um, first of all, of course, and um, I call it the 50 steps, so you will get them in the next manual. Because we have the gentleman here, and I don't want him to wait so long, we did some um, out of order. Of course, after calibration, you would come and do your system settings. So let's go real quick. System settings on the top. System power setting, double, double, normal, and max. Do you know what that really does? Does anybody know what that does? Nothing with subspace to do. Nothing whatsoever. That, that's that's the, the worst thing you can say. And there's even manuals that say that. Nothing, absolutely nothing, nothing, nothing. It increases the voltage of the device. What's that? Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what, what does it actually adjust? That's the question. It adjusts the voltage in the device. I have not gotten there. Thank you, thank you. I've, I'm just getting there. I leave it always on normal. Yes, because of autofocus, this skew will do it itself. But it's not, it's not something we should actually touch unless. And I asked Desi about all this. So I asked Desi, when would you use double or max power? And Desi told me, um, when um, Queen, Queen. Freddie Mercury, Freddie, Freddie Mercury. Now I got it. I'm sorry. When Freddie Mercury died, in the very end, they called Desi to help. And when he arrived there, Freddie turned one more time around, looked at him, and said, "Who wants to live forever?" Gave him the hand and died. Desi said that would be the time to put it on max power. Forget about safety, forget about whatever. Pump energy, pump energy. So in general, leave the setting alone unless you really have a good reason to go to double. And as long as you have normal power, and sometimes the device will say uh, too high power and you need to adjust, you don't need to do that. The device does it itself. This warning applies when you have double or max, especially max, and you're right, and max power, all safety features are disabled. Then it will just stream full power. Very rarely should you ever use that. And it's your full responsibility, uh, responsibility from that point on what you do with the device because you disable the autofocus. So just don't touch it. So, and some people say this will increase the subspace. No. You can even look in the adductor is working box and you will see how the slider drums up if you go to double. This is strictly a power setting which increases the average power on normal is 0.75 volt. The average power on double, average because it jumps back and forth, so the midpoint, so to speak, on double is 1.5 volts, and on max it can go up to 4.5, maybe 5, 5 volts. That's all. But more important for us is that quantum, quantum indeterminacy field. This activates actually quantic field, and we should always work with that, because it's just one click. Now the next thing is the activate positive consciousness field. So we want to work with positive energies and not negative. And then comes in, um, we need to roll over a little bit so we see the QIF there. To the right, if you let go and roll to the right. Don't, we don't see the QIF here. Oh, you need to get out of the menu and roll over, okay? 
to the right. More, yeah. So uh, here, you see QRF there? This is the indicator for the strength of the quantum indeterminacy field. And um, the quantic indeterminacy, what is that? We rel really never know exactly where these particles are, okay? We know the, the space where they are, but we can never determine where they really are. And so if we allow more, a higher setting there, we allow more instances, we allow more possibilities. And so the field will get stronger. You can uh, compare it to a chess computer. If you set the chess computer to beginner level, you have a chance to win because the computer can only calculate five moves ahead. If you go to intermediate, now the computer can calculate maybe 20 moves ahead, and for most of us, that's already too much, you know? So we're gonna lose, okay? And <coughs> I had a discussion with Desi about this button, so I wanted to know how it works. So what do you do with the intensifying here? You can actually, if you have a feely person, you can point out here, and here, you touch these points so they can focus. And feely persons, and there are more and more feely persons now on Earth, will be able to feel it. You just have to wait like 30 seconds. It's not going to happen instantly. And they're supposed to feel a light tingle, or also maybe in the fingers. And they're not supposed to feel a stinging sensation. And once you have gotten the value for a person, you can always use it, unless they make a big spiritual jump, nothing will happen. You can, from then on, you can write down, this person had a 40. If they don't feel anything, that's fine too. Yes? You, you cannot hear me. Alex, oh. try this microphone here. I okay. think is that it, microphone... Is it, is it too loud or was it... No, I think there's too much of bass. It needs to be sharper. Try this one. It cuts out? Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Is this better? Okay. Maybe battery dead there. Okay. Um, so once you have the value, you can usually write that down with the patient data and it's just there and it works. Um, if you have people that are not feeling, oh, this is much better, right? <laughs> okay. <coughs> Uh, if you have um, people that don't feel anything, usually I do women at 50 and men at 60, okay? I have tr I've played with these settings. I have done crazy settings. It doesn't do any good, okay? It uh, just starts burning. And uh, we know from many uh, examples, you can look at shattering glass on on YouTube, how resonance frequency art works. It's the frequency and not the power. It's just not, power is not important. It's the frequency. So if you increase the power, you're not gonna increase the, the um, results of the device. Okay, and the last thing we always do is that protection shield from remote viewing. No, 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 up, 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 one, two. Stop, down, down, thank you. So um, this is the four things. You just need to do four things in system settings. We stripped everything else. Scala boost, you know what? It increases the noise. And if you increase the noise, then subtle frequency might get drowned. If you double your power, you have too much current, too much voltage, you might drown out your signals. Um, we want to get the most precise test, and guess what we have achieved with all this minimizing? The test became better and better and better. Really, really usable. So you have to be aware, the more you switch on, the more they do, and the more you do before the test, the more reasons for not so precise test results you create. And another thing when we add that, please have the patient sit or lay down in a very comfortable position. Please play some music. If you don't like the music in there, mute it, have your own MP3 player. And please make sure they're in a nice environment 
They don't hear the fire department. They don't hear some tramway there. They should be in a very nice condition. The calmer they are, the better your test results will be. The sloppier you do this test, the less uh, precise result you will get. OK. Uh, no, no, we do that later. So let us go, please, one more time back, go back to the password. And I'm sorry that the order got a little bit screwed up. We didn't want to waste so much time entering patient, doing tests, and so forth. But I do have this in writing with nice pictures and everything. It's in German right now. And uh, Andrew will speak right after this, and he will talk about um, he will talk about um, the new manuals and so forth. Yes? Everything good? OK, so uh, let's go to the password. And um, of course, I would like to say, uh, I'm so great, I can do everything. I'm hoping we can help this gentleman. That's all. And we have a suspicion that it might be the kneeling sheath of the nerves. And if that's so, we might be helping him. Do you think we could use some help? Do you think we could use some help with this, uh, I will be right there, with this gentleman? Who thinks we could use some help? Or are we the greatest? Yeah, we use some help. Click, please click on Add Faculty. If you have not used this button, please do so. And I did a little nice thing. You don't need to have, uh, let's roll down. Um, all you need to do in this, you have to roll down. One more, one more, one more. You don't need to put pictures in there. I just did that. Um, and you can add the list of energies that you want to invite to help with this session. Okay, and this is just a suggestion. Don't, don't go crazy on me. You can put anything in there. But let me tell you, you should at least believe in some kind of higher force in the universe. No, no, good question. You don't have to do that every time. This will be loaded. These energies will be asked to help you every time, okay? I've seen people that had 72 in there. If you roll down, this is my personal list. You know, you can do your own. If you roll down a little bit more to the bottom. Ah, there's Bono. And I wrote down the love with you. Because uh, he sends a lot of love, and I love you too. Uh, if you don't know it, um, Bono admits that he talks every day to God. And uh, with a, without you and um, um, pride in the name of love. And what else? Still haven't found. The, all these uh, songs actually have been created with divine help. Um, oh, uh, how do I know? Uh, you have to do that yourself. <laughs> yeah, do you go in there and you type? And you should type it yourself because it puts your energy in there. Okay? I gladly give you the file, but you should do it yourself. You really should. You can take a picture or whatever, but no, create your own list and see what resonates with you, but get the help. And you probably saw standing here before the session, I highly, I highly recommend that you pray before you do the session. Because the powers that we are using with this device are much mightier than us little therapists here. And you don't have to but I highly recommend it, and you will instantly see an improvement in your results. Instantly. So just do it. Uh, but, uh, you know, just suggestion. So once you close that, you type in, and it's saved. Next time, you don't need to go in. You need to only go in again if you want to change it. Okay? But this happens automatically. Why not use that? Why not have all this assistance, all this help? It's, it's absolutely important. OK, so let's close this. And uh, 0310. <laughs> OK.
click OK. OK. What happened? We can close that. We don't need that. Uh, that we should not. OK. <laughs> Out top. Yeah. Hang on a second. Let me fix this. It's not there anymore. OK, so we have to go in. Uh, one more time, this happened by accident. And while we go here, uh, I want to show you something real quick. OK, he lost, he clicked on close. Uh, I want to show you something here. 62, 62. And in my experience, the, the, the this dictionary is calibrated a little bit high because you rarely ever get a one or two or even a seven or 10. So I mentally deduct 10 points there. But with the 62, this is in the disease dictionary a very significant value. So we definitely have the right disease. And the whole time we were speaking now, the patient got treated. Okay? So we unfortunately have to go in one more time, but I'm gonna, if you let me just do it, and uh, maybe it had to be like that. Uh, because now we can, of course, cruise through here. I do it real fast now so you can see. Actually, maybe it's a good way. So we do it in an orderly fashion now. I'm going to recalibrate. I'm not going to run the test again. He can't. He can't. Don't, don't, let's don't do it right now. OK? You can ask him, but I don't, I don't think he will feel. But what happens with the right foot? OK, he cannot move his right foot. So we use that as an indicator. It's too early, I think, but we can ask. Yeah, so he, he can, he can left, move the left foot. He cannot use the right foot. Um, I'm going to say no. I'm going to go clean in there. Now you see how I do it. And uh, trust me. It's key to a successful, nothing yet, right? No, it, it can't be. OK, it's too early. We're going to do some cool stuff. So here, we would hook up now the patient to the cable. Everybody understand? He's already on there. We did this before. Now you can safely hook him up. So if you do this right with the halfway decent computers, in eight minutes you will be treating. And uh, for the whole time, and we didn't even notice, we treated him. Now you ask, does he feel already? No, he can't because we have to do some couple extra tricks with this particular. And I cannot promise that it's going to happen. You know, it could be something else. But um, in Vienna, there we had, uh, I think, three people with. Uh, ALS or um, MS, and they had significant improvements, could lift their legs with and stuff like that again. Demographics, load, the old patient, but uh, I would have gotten, um, with 97, I can just move on. And the next thing, who's using the one clicks? Anybody? Nobody? Who is not using this? You know that we have doctors that use exclusively this because they're too lazy. OK, you don't have to use them, but it's so easy. Set the time up to 45 minutes. Select what you want to do. Hit start, and off it goes. It's not going to replace the SKU, but it's a great way if you have um, somebody that comes every week and you have degeneration, you have some inflammation or whatever. And this, uh, for instance, the meditation. Who's, who's tried the meditation in here? And what, do you like it? It's cool, right? 
you know, they tested that in Tibet, and the, the monks said, wow, never so easy, never so crazy. Um, you, after, the, after the calibration, you wind up here. If you don't wind up there, then I can show you the setting. So um, anyhow, try them. And uh, this one here is actually mislabeled. This is a deep chakra cleansing. If you want to do that manually, you will take two hours and you will not achieve the same thing because there's a lot of extra frequencies and everything. So this is a very powerful, powerful chakra cleansing here. And uh, a lot of people feel it. Of course, you don't feel the chakras, they hover in a different dimension, but you feel where the blockage is actually um, have, having its result. And at, at times people think it's really, really strong. So anyhow, but I don't want to spend too much time here. Um, we skip that for right now. Now the next thing we do is we look real quick at the EEG. Okay. Now what we see right now, it's clipping. And yesterday was the question, what is the boing sound? You would get every time a boing sound when this clips here. So um, what does this tell us here? Oh, I stopped it too late. What does this tell us? Has anybody used this? Have you used it? Okay, there's a tremendous... Okay, he needs to go. But he's, uh, fortunately, I saw before. Um, and you see already up there it says oxygenation transfer. Uh, oxygen has to be transferred quite a few times before it lands in the cell. So a lot of times cell membranes are clogged or something like that. Oxygen doesn't get there. And uh, hemisphere imbalance. That means um, the two brain hemispheres don't work properly. The first thing what we would do, what would we do as first thing here? Try the ponds, the bridge. You type out pawns in the matrix, and you try to open it, yes? There's three buttons down there. Oh, on the side, this new. Yes, it's working on it. These three buttons, I don't want to spend time on them now. Inside sensitivity, it's uh, some affirmation and erasing from bad stuff inside uh, neuroemotional, what gets on your nerves, and uh, psychogalvanic gets on my, under my skin. Um, there's uh, three treatments here that you can do right away. But I don't want to spend time now. I want to rather move on. But usually, and maybe I should show you some normal brain waves so you can see how oh, that should look like. Uh, let's go here. Okay, hopefully I find that. Okay, here's a 32-year-old cancer patient. Hang on. Yep. And. Uh, This is not happening. Q2. Okay. This was after the first treatment. This was after the second treatment. Okay, so you get an idea how brain waves could look like. The blue is the right. You can see it on the cable. And the black is the left. And you see, this is quite chaotic. So what do we see here? We got to do something with the brain here. But you can see. Yeah, but, but it's, what was there first, the chicken or the egg? OK, I think that the brain has to do the limbic system, hypothalamus, OK? Epiphysis, hypophysis has to do with this. 
Um, so we will not be able, and you know, as I said before, there's a karmic issue, and that leads exactly to things like that. So um, you cannot just on a physical level do this now. That's what I'm saying. Okay, and if in case you haven't seen it, we go to ECG. Oh, it doesn't work right now. He's not here. We do it later. So, okay, we can continue because we did already test with him. And um, so the first thing we're going to do, of course, the people think we're going to go in the matrix. We're going to not go in the matrix. We go to risk profile, and I will show you why. Um, okay, if you forgot disease. During the test, we had, would have preloaded that and run it. So we can do this real fast now. Go to load. And this is how fast you need to do it in the future, you know, because you will... Uh, multiple sclerosis. Okay, you you just this has to become a rhythm. You do it every time, and you will be quite successful. Pull this over, so at least you can see the number here. In case it goes this way, you can see the rectification. If you have a low rectification, you let it run. You don't waste time stopping and so forth. So. Um, up here, you can see whether it really took the... It always has to say dealing with what you selected. It could be something else here if you hit it by accident. Uh, and so we quick calibrate it. And we can, in the meantime, start with the new stuff here. We go to risk profile. And you know all this. This is just the order of things to do. Um, and what we're going to do is we look at the red items, lymphatic, food poisoning, bone, connected tissue, radiation, parasites. Parasites are interesting. Now, I want to do virus on top of it because, um, and it's in the red. I wanna, I'm going to tell you why I'm going to do this. And we take the bottom five, inflammation. Well, the nerves are sure inflamed, neurological, liver, Hormonal, sensory, sensory, of course. And we take bacteria. I have a reason for that, too. So now in the end, the last one that I double-click winds up here. You know that, right? I want to have virus there. Now, I can treat this here. I do a quick treat here. And while I do the quick treat, I activate my body viewer. And... Um, now all this stuff is being treated here. It just took it over. Now I'm going to do, you could load individual movie, but I always do treat disease path of all old trauma. I think that could help this gentleman very much. So I just click on it, and it keeps start running, and it does its thing. So I'm <coughs> going back to the disease. Do the resonance here. Going back to the risk profile, going on to virtual doctor, now I'm starting the iridology. Okay, next thing that I want to start. And um, in the meantime, the virtual doctor is calculating. Here we go into the anatomy and we do something with nerves. It's uh, only affecting his lower, maybe we should something to, first of all, here. Vertebra, okay. Yeah, we do something here. Uh, just assisting. So I double click, double click, double click, double click, activate piggyback. This is running. So now I'm cruising through. All this run runs by itself um, uh, at the same time. So. Um, I show you. I show you. Okay. So if I. Um, let's see what we have here. Subspace disruption. Wow. Never seen that one. Deficiency, fatty acid. Look, now it's getting interesting. Wow. Look what we found. 
Sorry, asset efficiency, all. This will be the key to what we're going to do. Okay? Now, instead of reading this like this, I can do treat. It's a cheap button, treat all, and I keep reading, you know? So it's there, it's there, it's going here. And to your question, down here, I activated the iridology. Of course, I can do it somewhere else, but this is efficient here. Efficient, 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 okay? So, yes. I'm going to do this right now because you reminded me. Thank you. And the new software, it's uh, better visible. I'm leaving it on Indigo. Indigo is the crown chakra. Yes. Actually, I missed the question from you. Are you mad at me? Thank you. <laughs> okay, I'm sure that the drugs affect the patient, but I can't help that, okay? And my thing is, when I go into a professor, I have an hour, maximum an hour and a half, I need to show a result. Yes, we should detox, we should take care of that side, but this is in the long run. Let's get some results, okay. And what we want to do today, we want to get some result, a little movement in the right foot, and bingo, we did it, okay. This is how you have to do it, and you have to show, in my opinion, if possible, that needs to be your standard in each session, not a talked about improvement. Oh, this was great, and you feel better. No, 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 no. That foot goes a little bit, then you achieved something. We will see whether we got it, but we seem to be here, deficiency, fatty acid, on the right path. Okay, so now, of course, uh, eventually I would need him again, but I can continue with the iridology real quick. So, um, we had lymph, it said lymph, so we could run that, activate it, you can ping it once, Miscellaneous. Let's see what we do here. Hip, sacralic pain. Let me see. What would I do here? I go there. Because maybe there's something with the nerves also here jammed. Okay? Unconscious search. This is all being treated all along. If you hit this button that you can see here, because now you can see it. Activate. This activates this down here. Lupus, okay, inflammatory, autoimmune, undefined, cell membranes, mitochondria. Okay, so there's a lot of good stuff here to be found, right? Muscle sarcoma, degenerative. Okay, it's a little bit always hectic here with the degenerative stuff, so don't freak out. It, I think every time goes overboard here a little bit, but it's in there. But you see there's a lot of good stuff in here. And um, as soon as you activate here and activate there for this, it'll run. And then we can go here to the brain. We want to do the brain. We can do the brain here. We can do the brain there. We do this. Okay? You can also double click here one more time. Then we take sacred geometry. As soon as I get there, you activate it and uh, quadrant repair. I would also park that, hmm, maybe, you can see that in the spinal way, you really should park that. We put it here, we park it here. So you check all these. And now the iridology is running quite efficiently. We can later on put even more stuff in the iridology. We can put more stuff in the body view. Let's see where the body view is finished with, no, it's not finished, we let it run. Let's go here, okay, 30 minutes. It's a little bit less than before, but we treated also a lot. Uh, so one minute long-term auto-treat, done. It's treating. So now, besides the consciousness, all four modules are loaded and are treating. And you need to get to this state in about eight minutes. And you do yourself a huge favor if you do it that way, because now I can talk to you. He's being treated. Not efficiently yet. I need to do more. But he's being treated. 
How often have I, I've been sitting in front of the matrix and after half hour, oh my gosh, I haven't, besides zapping a little bit, nothing done. And we can't do this today anymore because you cannot people tell to come back 10 times and in, in 10 times it'll be fine. They need to feel something, okay? They need to feel something. And uh, this, again, this system is proven by hundreds and hundreds of users. And we have uh, made it better and better. So now we come to what's really going on. Lymph thymus is immune system. There is a parasite. And uh, we should send all this to the report. Very valuable info. We've treated it already once. And now I'm going to go and change over to really do something here for him. Is he hooked up to again? OK. OK, so now here, if you have ALS or you have MS, this is what I suggest you do. We can now look all uh, here in here, but look what we see with um, 245. Amazing, huh? It's there. It's good. We have, um, as I already suspected, also in the sacrum problem with the vertebrae. There could be some nerves compressed. NIDP. OK. But this is really what, what interests me. And now we don't go for fatty acids. Yes, we do in a way. But here's what you do. You see, type in myelin, M-Y-L. M Y E L I N. And you search. And now look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Demyelination of neurons. And there's neuronic acid and there's the motor nerve effector. And I want to try all these single. Is anybody in at this point now with their computer? Is anybody there? You guys are there? Okay. Yeah, I want you to do this. And you're young, you so probably have no problem, but still. So you, you're ready to do the... Yeah, because you're healthy, you're boring. What can I do? <laughs> <laughs> but anyhow, you can try any... Is anybody else still there? No, nobody f uh, is with a computer in this panel? Okay, here's the test. You try this, okay? Go ahead. How far can you open it? How far does it go back? Easy. Look, she goes like, bang. I see, not so good anymore. You should try this now. You hooked up. You will see. It's interesting. Um, type in uh, myelin here. Type in myelin. And then, because um, I want to show you instant, instant. OK. And you search for neuronic acid. You search for motor nerve effector. And you know what happens with people that can't do this anymore, are very hard? And you do this, zap it for three minutes, and they go bang. And they're like, whoa, what's happening? So this is a sign that the people have deficiency. And <coughs> good. So the first thing, would you continue? <coughs> we want to do now is we want to use that nevronic acid Okay, what did you not hear? Okay, this is about to test how far does it go back and how easy. And the, the older they get, the people, and the more problems they have with the myelin sheet. And you, you kind of remember how hard it gets from here to there, okay? And they shall give it a value from zero to 10. And then you do this for three minutes and it goes And uh, they need much less power. And this is not only here, this is also your legs. This is uh, getting up the stairs and everything. It's this beautiful thing. You can test it. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, but it's spe specific fatty acids. And that's what we're getting at now. So with the myelin, uh, you get only the stuff that you really need. It's not any fatty acid. And uh, so the, the really good stuff is the... The really good stuff is the nervonic acid. 
You should try that, always. Yeah, we test it now. So he drag it in, in the individual reaction. You know there's a shortcut in, but a lot of people go crazy with that. So let's test it and see. So now we're gonna, now we're gonna really start giving him some, you know, let's see what happens. Yeah? So uh, I wanna see the value now. I wanna see the value here. And you know, this is not something that I just came up with. I've done this at this professor and he didn't let me go for two and a half days. He specialized in MS and ALS. Shall we increase the autofocus to maximum? What's that? Uh, if it's a uh, maximum, it's okay. He no. needs it. Yeah, no, I'm going to do it to maximum. Hmm? It's on, right now, the treatment is on. Uh, okay, so he's got a 68. Oh, uh, yeah, by the way, this is the most important number here. The, the, the rectification, you know that, right? This is what we look at, okay? And um, the 68 is not a 2 or a 3, but um, it's not a 100. So let's always interpretation. We always look at the interpretation. What? Interpret result. Yep, there, yeah, good. Okay, there he wants only small three seconds. What does it mean? What does that mean? The three seconds versus the three minutes. Who can explain? <coughs> Nobody. Okay, three minutes. What does it mean? Homeopathic principle, just information needed. That does not mean that it's weak or anything. It's just, there's something wrong with the information. It doesn't function right. If you have three minutes, you need, you need really the physical stuff. You need to get it. If it's three seconds, it's information. It's informational. Okay, um, we do the 30 seconds because by the time you switch it off to three seconds, it's almost the same. I'm too lazy. And um, so this is the one. The other one that we always want to check is the motor nerve effector. The motor nerve effector. And I don't know why in the English version it's so little came. Um, okay. Interpretation, please. Oh, that was the, okay, let's do the motor nerve effector. So this is up to one, 108 now. It should be expected because it only wanted information. Yeah. If you look at the amperage here, 26, okay? There's a huge problem in the brain, okay? And we saw that, where did we saw, see it? We saw it in the EEG. Now it's here also in the bar hope. Everything else, okay. Life force is reduced also, not good. Okay, this is Qi battery. This is going now deep into the Qi battery. Um, so here we got a 14, so this is really what he needs. Interpret, please. Okay, three minutes, three seconds, he needs the information, he needs the material, he needs everything, okay? Let's do three minutes. Let's do three minutes. Okay. Um, how long has he had this problem? How long has he had this problem? Five, six years, okay. Do you feel anything in the... Left foot, or the right foot. Uh, try the hand, are the, are the hands are good, or the hands, is it easier? This doesn't feel so inflated anymore. Okay, this is very good sign because that's typical. He, he says his, his hands or his fingers don't feel so inflated anymore. This is the numbness. They're not really inflated, you know. He, the numbness goes down. So let's try to try the foot a little bit. Okay. Is this the one that didn't work at all? Or the other one? Okay, let's do the right one. 
to just a little, you know, tell them we look for a little improvement, little, because that's all we need to have. It's moving a little bit, isn't it? Yeah, it's a little bit. He didn't, couldn't. Yeah? Okay, but there's a little, try again. Mm hmm, mm hmm. So let's try a little bit up one more time. If it uh, goes this much, I'm happy. Is there a little bit? I think there's a little bit, right? Ask him, is there, if it's tiny bit, it's good. Yeah? Just the maximum. Okay, okay, okay. So we continue. Um, but he has first sensation, he has first sensation that his fingers are not inflated anymore, which is typical, there's the numbness, because we not only have the motor nerves, but also the sensory nerves, you know, and if it's numb, you uh, came here, okay, so, uh, he, he describes that his fingers are not so inflated anymore, that's typical because that's uh, coming from the numb feeling, um, they're not inflated really. So it starts already working. Now we need to, of course, uh, speed up the process here. And what we're going to do now, and I'm a little bit um, surprised. Um, OK. So what we're going to do now, um, we're going to open the info report. We're going to empty the info report. Well, so because of the projector, it changed my resolution here. I need to jump back and forth, but anyhow. So we empty the info report. And now we just take everything in there, because we want to power this now. I have to hold the mic, do it with one hand, so bear with me. Okay, so now I need to search a little bit more because I didn't have enough stuff here. Um, okay, we need to try that anyhow. Let's see, where we have that is already in there. Also in there. Okay, what did I hear? Okay, so we have a cocktail now here, and what we do is we load that. So, test report. So now the report items are loaded in here. And if the button mi is missing here, it's because I didn't do the test again. Uh, but anyhow, so now I can uh, treat all these items that I just dragged in there. And it will be much more powerful. Repeat this one more time. Okay, what we did is we loaded the info, we opened the info report, and then we empty it. Okay, there's the stuff from the calibration. And then we um, just drag the items in there. And then there usually is a, there is a button load report. And then it says um, hold, and you click one more time, and then it says report items loaded, and then you treat the report, which means you treat everything that you have in here, okay? So this is much more effective now, of course, because um, we do much more. Now, what we can do now to further expand that, actually, before I continue, I can now look under nerve. Uh, wrong shortcut, sorry.
close. Okay, we go in here. Nerve. We see what's going on there, what we can find there. Uh, mineral. Sympathetic nerve system. Let's go to manganese. Uh, it's not specific enough. Oh yeah, we take this nerve spinal cervical. We drag in there. Um, yes, ALS. One more time, if we don't have it yet. And it's the same family of. Oh, it's already in there. Okay. Then herpes lesion. That could be also. Okay, we go back to the red. Um, what we also can do is now sclerosis. And uh, let's see what we get. Uh, okay, there's. We could use some Narayanis. But um, there's NS. Do we have this? No, we have this also. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to treat this, this report for uh, three minutes. And um, then we're going to do some advanced testing in the software to get more ideas here what could still fit. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add these items now to the disease dictionary, to the body viewer, to iridology, to increase the power. What we are interested now is, you know, um, it says three minutes here. This is good stuff. So what we need to do now, we take the main stuff that we found. And we um, take the numbers and put them in the disease dictionary. So we stop that. We add to therapy. And we just take all the numbers from up there. Two, eight, two, one. Two, zero, zero, two. Two empty spaces in between. Two, four, six, seven. 8807, 1141, 8808, 1257. Oops, what happened? Wrong field. Twelve fifty seven five eight two one. Go into emotion. Uh, we need to find the. Okay, we do that in a second. Please remind me. So now I'm going to load this. I modulate this on top. And I forgot to copy it. Okay. So we will copy it too. So these are the fatty acids that uh, most needed. Um, I load it one more time just to be sure on the safe side, and then we um, do auto treat. So now we go to the body viewer, paste that in here. We can go to miscellaneous homeopathic extras and paste it in here. Activate, close. Um, oh yeah, we can. This actually, if there's once an alarm coming, it's actually good because most of the time it's really reactive. If the alarm doesn't come back, it's fine. And so now we can go to miscellaneous here, additional area of treatment. And what we do is, uh, it's called compounding. Okay, we increase dramatically the power of what we're doing right now. And we can do 50, 60, 70 items, you know, we just have to be 
careful what we do long term because we can only use things that we want to get rid of long term. Other things could be enriched. I need to really make this disclaimer. So uh, another really, really important thing now, okay, we have this in, we have, now I need to activate here again, so good. And I'm back to this here. Another thing that we need to do with the, has anybody tried this now with the, did you do the myelin sheet? No? Yes? Is it easier? It goes further. Look at that. Sh look, everybody. I'm not crazy. It was straight before. And it's much easier, right? And everything is like that. There's much more. She, you do it like her, her, her. You lost 40 years there, see? <laughs> High five, come on. <laughs> now, this is, not, this is just a test. This means that uh, uh, this is really, uh, you should, you want to get up real quick? Just get up, get up and show the people. She had it straight before, and I'm not crazy, I do this all the time. And she, not do it real back, so look at this, how it snaps back, that was impossible before. And this isn't simple test, I mean, this affects everything. You're walking, you're, you're moving your arms, everything. So this really does work, you know. Now we do have a very difficult case here. Um, I know that. So here comes the trick now. Here comes something very, very, very important. You need to type in A R A C H, because otherwise this whole thing will not work. You type in under search A R A C H, the arachidonic acid. If you do, and this is so important, people say, well, I do eat fatty acids. I do my omega-3, uh, omega-6, omega-9. If you don't have enough arachidonic acid, and if you do, um, give the number here, if you roll over a little bit, we can see it. If you give the number, this is the stuff that glues the fatty acids to the myelin sheath. If you don't use that, then you can eat as many Fatty acids, if you as you want, and it will wash off. Of course, there is now a big campaign against arachidonic acid. How dangerous it, dangerous it is! I'm sure there's for some people dangerous because they make less money. But um, you need to have that. It's like you put the wallpaper on the wall without the glue; it'll fall off. And you know what the, the tricky part is with this, all these nervous diseases is that if the myelin sheath is defective, then you will get small currents that flow into the muscles where they don't belong. They should get back down here, right? They shouldn't get stuck here. So that can lead to rheumatic uh, pain, okay, because it comes to inflammation. So in order to make it stick, the whole thing that we have done so far is useless without the testing of the arachidonic acid. If you roll to the left on the bottom, then we can see the, yeah. Okay, so 1358. One, yeah. Uh, we still have the report in there. Yeah. So this is a mistake. The, so we have still the report loaded, right? We, we're not on individual reaction. So let's see how he's doing. How's the foot doing? How's, the, how's his right foot doing? Is that a little bit better? There's a little movement. There is. Don't you think so? I think there's movement up and down. Relax and then pull it back up. No? I could swear there's some movement. Well, we continue. Yeah. But in the initially, he, was, he lifted it once or twice. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Now, of course, we can have a combination of problems because also the iliosacralic joint there might be a problem. 
um, which was indicated. So now we have to unload the um, under EPR, if you go EPR, EPR enhancements in the middle. We need to get rid of the load, yeah. And uh, just go to load report items one more time, and it will actually switch back to individual reaction, and now you can test the arachidonic acid. Now, we didn't have that yet. And um, uh, uh, check the disease dictionary, please, that this is running. Okay, it's running. 96, this is getting better there. Oh, we have made a couple. No, don't touch. If you touch that button, it stops. <laughs> if you touch that button there, the disease dictionary will stop. You use that only if you want to add new stuff to it. Um, okay, now let's go back to the um, matrix. And uh, here's what we... No, 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 to the very left, yeah, over there, just click there, just click, yeah, just click there, it comes, okay, everything's working, you have to wait, <laughs> okay, so the next thing we need to do is we haven't looked at all, interpretation, if you look at interpretation really quick, interpret result, Okay, three seconds, he needs the information. Do we do another 30 seconds here? And then we go to something else that we need to do, is, and that's the emotions. I'm going to show you a little trick there with the emotions. Um, so we have had really tremendous results, and I'm glad that you did that, because it was stunning what happened here. So here we have, which I was afraid of, multiple problems. So, give me a high five. <laughs> I'm going to test that. Okay. So, let's go to the emotion NLP, emotions. I want to show you something how you can do the emotions real fast, real good. Um, well, fast, nothing is fast, faster than. So, you go to the uh, mental factors, emotion chart. On the bottom, 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 to the right, yeah, yeah. And then make emotion chart, and then load. So, um, show emotion neurotransmitter, yep, okay. So, wow, look at this. Uh, we have on the bottom 42, we have on the top 195. Uh, that's pretty extreme values. Um, so, what we're going to do is without further ado, go to therapy and treat bottom and top. And in my, yeah, treat bottom and top. In my experience, okay, forget about the rectification here. If you go and leave with 100, it's not done. What you need to do is you need to go here on the side. You need to go, in with, can you move this a little bit out of the way here that we see the numbers? Just move it, yeah. Okay, you should be from 70 to 110, actually 80 to 100, but you will take forever. So do 70 to 110. 70 to 110. So, um, and uh, look at the bar on top. You see it's still working till it goes to 100. And then you have to wait a second and then it's gonna jump to the new values. Um, you can achieve uh, much, much more here with the emotions than anywhere else, I think. So, um, and we need to look at the uh, overall scale. Right now it's from 40 to 190 or so. And let's do again, please. And um, this is good for back pain also. This is good for um, slip disc and um, all kinds of back uh, problems because it really relaxes the back and helps a lot. I cannot say that it always goes away with that, but that should be the first step. It's definitely an emotional factor, and the power is, of course, um, something very um, interesting to see there. What is going on there? Any ideas? Couldn't hear. 
but I'm, I'm interested whether somebody figures this out. Let's see. So I believe because he's locked in the chair, so he wants to prove his power. This is my opinion. I think that's part of it. He would like to have more control. Flow of energies, very likely disturbed. We're going to uh, look at that next. What do you think of the power? It, there's a possibility that we have to see that He's, because he couldn't move, he lacks, lacks the power to do what he wants to do. But being in the wheelchair, it gives him the power because there are people waiting on him. People are taking care of him. I didn't want to talk. So it's a very subtle thing. It's, uh, it's exactly, we ask what are the benefits of yeah. these conditions. Yeah. The benefit he is that he's having people take care of him. And um, uh, the problem is, I've seen this before. So it's 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 another way of exerting, having influence and so forth. You know, a very difficult situation. Uh, please keep going till we get. Um, I want to uh, show you. So ecstasy. You know, he's looking for some fun, for some some crazy stuff in life. <laughs> I'm sorry. From the tie, oh, the heel. So he can lift, now he starts lifting his heel. From the heel. heel. <laughs> <laughs> because there's, of course, wow. lots of people that look at this very Good. critical here, and uh, you're entitled to be critical, but I'm also not stupid. I don't do this if I don't know that it doesn't work. Yeah, he's, uh, Relaxed now. <laughs> his right leg, which was the <laughs> most affected one, he can... When he puts his foot down, Let, let's continue. The heel, so. heel is up. He's, allowed, he's able to lift it. Yeah, I would have left the room already w without you. You know, you saved my butt. <laughs> I okay, have to so pay you. Hang on. <laughs> I have several people. Some people placed in the audience. I pay them. You know. So. Okay. Yet now it's moving. Keep going. Keep going. And so if this. Um, of course, you're going to say, I think this is crazy. Well, how can I do the emotions so long? The results are just great. But I he even give you a trick, little trick here now. It takes too long, okay? It takes a long time. So again, what I'm saying is rectification might go up to 100 or go down. I don't care. I want to see these emotions in between 70 and 110. 10 minutes, okay. I got to step on it. Thank you for the heel. <laughs> just the right. There is a God, after all. So, um, good. Um, the next time, next round, we're going to go to neurotransmitters, which are very important for him anyhow, I'm sure. We saw it. And the interesting thing is, if you do neurotransmitters, you can just switch over. It will affect your emotions here. and It will speed up the, pr the problem here, which is very cool. So... Um, you see that everything gets kind of a normal range here if you switch choices, uh, choices, uh, top left, choices. Well, yep, neurotransmitter. Okay, and now look at this, 225. Aspartam, look at that. That is suspected to do something with your nerves. Okay, I have 10 minutes, so let's do real quick here two times. Top to bottom, same thing. You can go to f uh, therapy as long as you want to if your neurotransmitters look like that. It's not it ain't going to happen. Okay? It ain't going to happen. So always check when you get to the emotions here. And in this case, it's very important to get emotions under control and get it better. And what, which better way can you do it and then do them all together? And, um, okay, and you see this is uh, quite chaotic because there's more in the 200s. This is mandatory that this is going to get regulated. And where did we see this? In the very beginning with the EEG, we saw that. This is where you have to wind up if the EEG is so crazy, among other things. So the other thing I wanted to do real quick, because now we have just worked symptomatic. We haven't gotten to the cause. I want to show you the cause. 
Let's go back to the matrix real quick, please. And um, so uh, the neurotransmitters are not ready, and the um, emotions are not ready, but uh, Andrew showed me 10 minutes. Here's the solution where possibly this whole thing comes from, aside from karmic. Uh, please go to the body viewer real quick. Body viewer, body viewer on the bottom. <coughs> and go to skiotherapy, aura cleanse. Okay, his, uh, you see a 20 up there, so his aura is weak, but it's actually very nice. So the praying helped. Um, let's go, um, let this roll, it's fine. We go to the matrix real quick. And uh, one more thing to do, go to program, body scan, Oops, body scan and face therapy and scan all. Um, here's something very important that you need to give to every, every pe uh, person that is sick. I will show you. And we're going to check very quick energy flow, right? We want to see what's going on with the chakras, what's going on with uh, possibly folk, uh, folky. And um, we also want to, we want to reestablish connection divine connection. So, um, okay, was this now too hectic, too fast, or did you learn something? Did you like it? You hate me? <laughs> Shall I go home? Get your eggs out? Yes. I'm sorry, change is where? Five. Changes where? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, in the end, in the end, please. Okay, uh, let's treat fo Foki real quick. We're running really out of time there. <sighs> I'm so close, I'm so close. Okay, the two big circles here are outside energies. And uh, look where they are on the right foot. Okay, so who's sitting on the right foot? Let's balance, please. Treat Foki, and uh, then the question, of course, is when we're done with everything, he could lift his heel. That's all I wanted to get. He couldn't do that since, I don't know, five years. We're on the right track. That's all. I never said that he's going to get out of the chair today. But if you continue the path, okay, and there's lots of good info that we got here, and uh, it was also supported by the test, by the risk profile, and so forth. And look. That circle doesn't want to go. Who is that? On the right foot. And um, then, then when all this is gone, then we can look at his chakras. Before, we cannot even look at his chakras. Okay. This connection, all layers of their flaw and cosmic, so we need to actually go into the dimensions and fix that. But I don't know whether we have the time. Um, I'm sure there's a heavy-duty karmic issue, but we try, as I said before, we try to resolve a lot of things before. And uh, what I want to give him now, stop the separation, give him divine light. Okay? I think that's crucial for all these... Uh, severe diseases. Uh, one more time. So finally that energy is going out, but didn't really want to let go of the foot. It's still on the right side. Okay, so how's the foot now? Can you ask him with the, with the heel? Getting better? Yeah? yeah I, I, he lifts better, right? He, much better. I like to hear that. This was hard work. I do this every day. I go into a professor's office and have one and a half hours, and I die every time. Jeez. So um, you see that um, the throat chakra, way too big. A big chakra is not good. A, a big chakra is a fed up chakra. I'm ready to, to hit the road here. OK? Short before people die, the, the chakras open up, and that's how the soul steps out. I mean, he's not going to die, but this one chakra, so meaning expression, meaning expression, 
You know, he has problems with the expression. Probably not being accepted, I don't know. So, um, anyhow, let's go real quick, because I really want to give him that to the end. Skin rejuvenation. Lung chakra is there because he's also grieving that he hasn't finished the grief for his parents that have passed. Okay, okay. Um, I could give you a couple more tips, but I think we did a pretty dark and good round, and you could see how you can do an efficient treatment where in the end, after six years, the foot can be lifted. But I would like to ask you for something as a thank you um, that we all pray together for him after the last thing. We, we're going to hook him out up with the divine world, go to skin rejuvenation. Uh, it's a very valuable button. It really works, and it's uh, right underneath a button that shouldn't be there. Okay, <laughs> If you see the go up there to the divine light pineal gland, that we establish is the hookup and the button above we ignore. <laughs> so now uh, click on it, please. And a lot of times people will get a headache from this. Why? Because the body cannot accept it. This is completely. Just hit, just hit OK. Just hit OK. It does stand a time of 30 seconds if you don't put time in. You can put time in later. The first time I wouldn't because people get possibly headache. Why? Because they're not ready to accept it. So we start the stream and then 30 seconds later, that's why we didn't type in time. Later, it's good to do it five minutes or so once they don't get headache. Okay? So now you need to go one button below, harmonize to divine light. And I'm almost ready, almost ready. But I think we owe him that we are. We're going to do something really cool now. So, okay. So as soon, and now we're going to harmonize. Now it's going to flow. It, the blockage is going to go away. It's going to flow in the body. Now you can do the five-minute time or whatever. And with all these chronic severe diseases, they all have a separation because they lost trust, okay? It's very important to hook him back up and a good feeling. So now we could um, set the time here on the bottom to five minutes or so, but we, um, you know, why don't we do this? We do divine light now, and maybe um, you've been sitting a long time. Let's everybody get up, and I um, would like for you to, as a thank you, I want you to pray with me for as a thank you to Chandro. Um, and uh, maybe please tell him. Uh, you want to speak the prayer? You want to speak the prayer? I would like to, for all of us together pray for Sandro that he becomes healthy. So can I turn this over to you? Any prayer? I'll use the one uh, prayer that we have. Om Triambakam Yajamahe Sugandim Pushti Vardhanam Uruva Rukumabandana Mrityo Mukshi Amamritat Om Triambakam Sugandim Pushti Vardhanam Uruva Rukumabandana Mrityo Mukshi Amamritat Om Triambakam Yajamahe Sugandim Pushti Vardhanam Uruva Rukumabandana Mrityo Mukshi Amamritat Om Thank you so much, and uh, thank you for all helping doing something great here.